how to export as editable geometry from 3ds max to katia v5 okay so to transfer 3d models it's really important that we want to transfer them as editable so from 3ds max to katia v5 so for example there are various primitives that are similar so we can define a box a sphere a cone a pyramid a torus both in 3ds max and both in katia in imaginary shape so over here we have those primitives but let's say you want to transfer a different shape maybe a self-made shape or a more complex one so as a case study we will take a look at an extended primitive so we will take a look at the torus knot i will define a model over here so let's say i want the radius to be 50 millimeters how many segments do i want it to have 75 i will see that with 75 it will be a little bit uh, low so i will leave it to 120 that was the default and now we have the cross section so i will want the cross section to have a radius of 10 and also the number of sides for each cross sections it is by default set to 12 i can reduce it to let's say 6 but we can keep it to 12. now if i will press the 7 hotkey i will see that currently my 3d model is defined by a pretty high number of polygons so this is important you would like to have a low amount of polygons if you want to take them and send them in to katia to imagine a shape and you want to modify them a bit so as an example i will take this torus so i will go to file export export i will call it not and i will save it as an obj file faces i want them to be quads hit export and after that back in katia v5 we go to import subdivision i will select that not model and i will set i have that geometry transferred to to katia so now if i want to make make some modification i can select various vertices and i can for example you can scale them like this but as you can see it's lagging a bit this is because the 3d model has quite a lot of polygons so katia imagining shape can handle a high amount of polygons before it starts to lag but for various 3d models it's really easy and convenient to to transfer them so similar to my videos from blender the same elements apply to katia v5 so i hope that you find this video useful if so and if there are any other questions please leave me some comments below okay so thanks for watching